What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media. And excuse me while I go off and uh, rant a little bit and, you know, cast shade on dumbass people. That piss me off. But before I do that, I'm going to give you guys some uh, lighter news. So, uh, those of you who are interested in God of War 4, uh, it's in his good hands. The story is not over. Uh, T.C. Carson, the voice of Kratos, is rumored to be uh, out there in the studio working on the next reiteration, uh, the next iteration of God of War. They're asking questions like, where is his body? And Sony understands the importance of this game and how awesome it is. And hopefully it's better than the last one that came out because it wasn't as good as it could have been. Sorry, it just wasn't. Uh, a lot of people are asking the question, you know, why do they have to get rid of your characters from the whole entire Bungie uh, Destiny beta? And uh, yeah, I'm kind of with you guys. But uh, basically, they came out there and they said, um, you know, is is since the beta, we continue to tune in and adjust the game. We got all kind of cool stuff going on about how you're going to adjust experiences and how you're going to change your levels. Some people don't want to have the same character anymore and they want to change stuff up or whatever. And so they're going to miss out a lot of cool things like this guy. And they showed a picture of a dude with a cool glowing armband and, you know, like a really nice outfit. Uh, personally, I love my character. If you guys wanted to, you know, charge me two bucks to get that character back I would do that because I did like my character I'm sorry I just did I paid it two dollars just, just give them back please please uh, there's also been a uh, reported news that the next uh, PlayStation uh, 4 update has been leaked showcasing new design systems and notifications and you know basically you get to create folders and change the order of the icons and random stuff like that so yeah sorry if I went through that kind of quick because uh a little mad. Uh, read this whole entire Eurogamer article, and you know, basically, this dude, uh, the Crytek C CEO, uh, I'll call him a Cervix or Coochie, Urly, his actions are inexcusable. So basically, he's the CEO of Crytek, and uh, he's a total dillcock. And let me go into exactly what's going on. Now, we all know that people there at Crytek weren't getting paid over there in the UK and all this other good stuff, and you know, they were going broke. And people were quitting and all this other good stuff. And his cavalier attitude as to uh, the situation that the people were going to was really pissing me off. It made me mad. So much so that I had to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning while reading this article to make a video about it because I was just that pissed off. Uh, let me read off to you some of the comments that he made. Some people were very impatient and got angry at the smallest delay. You know, like, you know, getting paid and, you know, surviving. Uh, also, there was a critique of us not being proactive in communication, which we don't understand because, I mean, we have frequently to uh, told people in the UK as well as every other studio talking about potentially rough times. And uh, we even shared with people how they should work with different banks at a personal level or prepare. Or if not, they can make a choice and resign and look for other jobs. That's the first one. First of all, uh, people rely on money to survive. You know, it's that it's that magical thing. And uh, you're telling them that there's going to be rough times at a company does not mean that they're not going to get paid. Working with banks on a personal level, like go get a loan when you might get fired. It's a great idea. People do that all the time. And for his next comment that really took the cake, basically he said, uh, our priority was not to downsize the company. Our priority was the, uh, not to let other people lose their jobs at this point, because if a company gets into a difficult situation and, you know, the outcome is going to be bad, you have a choice, downsize everything. But, you know, we haven't done that because we want to keep everybody tied together, uh, you know, as part of a team. Basically, we wanted you guys to continue working without getting paid while you finish the game and uh, we can sell it to somebody else and then we can pay you guys afterwards or fire you and uh the worst part the worst part is uh i was surprised and a little upset uh, uh well i was surprised and a little bit uh upset or whatever at the intention of us keeping everyone together you know as part of a team but i understand the situation some people live in a very tight financial planning and it's their very own privacy that's their problem, basically. And uh, they can do whatever they want. Those guys, you know, when they get under pressure and become emotional, you know what I'm saying? We tried to individually help everybody out. So if someone got in trouble, they can come talk to us directly and we'll help them so that they don't get under pressure. You know, we do what we can do, but, you know, you can't make it right for everybody. What that means is uh, your fucking problem. It's all on you. I'm sorry we didn't pay you. We told you guys to work with other banks and get loans while we spend three to four months not giving you money. 
they understood that people enjoy money in order to live and get to work, you know, maybe pay mortgages and, you know, buy rice and beans and stuff. And they said, uh, yeah, Nunu for you. Now, they said they weren't getting paid too. the CEOs, you know, you know, the people who make millions of dollars, you know, the founders and stuff, the millionaires weren't getting paid either. If you're a millionaire, it doesn't matter if you miss a couple paychecks. You know, I, I want to put like a ban. I want to boycott Crytek. Anything that they put out, anything other than, you know, stuff that, you know, people who got fired in, you know, the UK or whatever, who basically, you know, worked uh, and they paid them after they got fired, uh, after they sold the game or did whatever they did, which he said he can't talk about, uh, to pay them afterwards. So, yeah, basically those people who, may, who busted their ass on a game that has uh, – been sold and given off to another company or whatever so they can make money on a bag deal or whatever the hell they did uh those people got screwed over they work there they bust their ass they try to stay together as part of a team and then they essentially are closing the office and firing that team that they said we need to keep together finish our game sell it then we'll give you guys some money three four months later i don't understand why people were quitting i don't know they can't pay for cars houses you know when I read about arrogant Dale Cox, like there's like pricks that just sit around and pretend and sit on their magical stack of money like fucking Daffy Duck or some crazy shit. I don't fucking know, man. I'm just so fucking tired right now. But I, I can honestly tell you that I am allergic to dumbass people. Don't buy anything from Crytek. I don't care. Send us to his email. Send us to his fucking box. I'm going I'm to post it on his own Twitter page. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I really don't. I don't fucking care. I'm really fucking ranting right now. No fucking niceness. No fucking gifts. This dude is a fucking dick. You're a fucking dick. And I hope everyone gets told about this. Tell everybody, tell every YouTuber you know to read this article. Link is, will be in the description. They can read it. And read the arrogant attitude he had about this. Like, I don't understand. I mean, we did the best we could. We warned them we're, we're going through problems. You didn't tell them that they weren't going to get paid. How many of y'all will work at a place that he said to y'all, you weren't going to get paid? You weren't going to get $5. You weren't going to get nothing. You'll get something. And then he said some people were getting paid. We didn't say they weren't getting paid. They didn't get paid. We're, we're paying them incrementally. You know, we were paying them when we got the money. I mean, we had to make a choice. Either keep the company alive and keep everybody working together for free or pay the people and then fire them anyway. I, I, you know what? His logic was completely flawed. It was completely flawed. And I was just blown away by the arrogance of this person. I hope this person has no success in anything else he does. I'm not going to support him. I'm not going to help you get a new Ferrari. I don't care. I know you're already rich and you can care less about Little Stone Fox Media. But you know what? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Find the nearest self and fuck it. Find it. That's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching and listen to me rant. Two o'clock in the morning. Fuck it. And I will holler at y'all later.